Hello people, let us specifically look at electric electrical burns. Okay, so in types of burns you have thermal, <clears throat> electric, chemical and radiation, right? So in this we want to look at the electric burn. So hope you have already seen the burns video where you have understood the basics. Here only specifically about electrical burns, some specific things they want to talk about. So basically uh, what happens when you touch electricity, the resistance of our tissues, right? The body offers resistance because of which there is heat produced and this heat will cause the damage so when you touch anything electricity what happens is the heat is produced the heat is the one that uh, damages the tissue okay so based on the voltage that you are uh, touching or coming in contact with the amount of damage will be dependent on the voltage high voltage more heat more damage okay so in electric uh, burns there's something specific like um, entry and exit wound let us say you touched the uh, electric wire with your hand okay with your hand so the entry wound will be at your hand and the exit can be somewhere where you're grounded kind of a thing okay so here on the palm they are showing entry wound and on the foot they are showing exit wound okay so the entry wound will have will be called as jewel burn okay jewel burn j o u l e jewel burn okay so basically jewel burn means how it will be something like this Look at this. First of all, there will be a blister and then that blister will collapse inside. <clears throat> so, there will be a crater. You have a pale zone around it. Can you see? There is a rim also because the crater is deep inside, right? So, basically, you have understood this part of it. Let's move on. Types of injuries. You have true electrical injuries because of the heat generated because of passage of current. It could be a flame burn because of a electric flash or spark. Flame burn, have you also seen in something else? Arc burns guys, uh, look at this, uh, focus guys, um, intense heat at the termination of current flow. Flexor aspect of joints, what will happen? It jumps the gap <clears throat> between the source and the conductor. Flexor aspect of joints. So that is when you will have arc burns looks like. It jumps the gap. Guys, what are we looking at? Electric burns, very good. Let's um, <clears throat> continue. So, in classification, you have acute injuries and uh, delayed injuries. In acute injuries, based on the voltage, you have uh, low voltage injuries and high voltage injuries. So, you have uh, something called as flash burn, contact burn. High voltage, you have called this arc, right? Arc, flash, same things. Flash, flash, you write everywhere, flash, no issues. Then, um, punctate, extensive, extensive with vascular impairment of extremities, compartment syndrome, dry gangrene. So, because of, um, you can have other injuries because, not exactly because of electricity, they are saying because, because the uh, person's clothes caught fire, right, thermal burns he can have, he can have confusion, agitation, etc. He can have uh, a peripheral neuropathy, cardiac arrest, he can have, because he fell because of all this, he can have injuries, right. Then they are talking about delayed injuries, there could be delayed spinal cord injuries, delayed peripheral neuropathy, same thing here, peripheral neuropathy. And uh, optic nerve atrophy cataract. So, he can injure his eyes. Eyes can get injured. So, how will you manage electrical injury they are talking about? So, you will uh, do uh, resuscitation. And just like in thermal burns, what will you do? Fluid resuscitation. You will give them uh, antibiotics. What else have they spoken about in uh, thermal burns? Closed uh, dressing or open uh, that you know, right? Same thing they are talking about here. Tangential excision where you will remove layers of skin so that your fresh bleeding occurs. So that you know there will be no SCHAR which will take a lot of time to come out etc. Then they are doing split skin graft or a flap, right? Split skin graft where they are taking only few layers of the dermis, right? Split skin graft, flap etc. Flap is with vascularity. See here flap is tissue transferred with, along with its vascularity. Then here, if you have this high voltage injury and there is flash burns, deep dermal, they are again doing tangential excision, split skin graft. Same things they are talking about, arc burns, vascular compromise if it is there, they are doing some fasciotomy amputation. Amputation is something new here that they have mentioned. Punctate wounds if they are there, excision and grafting, same thing, excision, grafting. Extensive injury without vascular compromise. Then wider excision with splits and graft, flap, same thing. You will immobilize with POP. Guys, looks like that just became too much. Just focus here. If there is vascular compromise, then they are doing fasciotomy amputation. But if there is no vascular compromise, they are just doing the same thing, split skin, graft, flap, etc. after the excision. Okay. 